The Farmer Input Support Program has remained a contentious issue in the last few months. And this is because government has removed those that have benefited for a long time as well as those that are on social cash transfer. This has been escalated to the floor of parliament with many members of parliament asking questions as to why this has been arrived at. In responding to the questions, Minister of Agriculture Mtolo Piri says it is only fair that those who have been on the program for over 10 years are removed to allow others and the most vulnerable benefit. The Honorable Member asked the Ministry of Agriculture whether the government is aware that most farmers who were weaned off the farmer input support program for the 2022-23 farming season without warning are on the verge of destitution. And B, if so, whether there are any plans to reinstate affected farmers on the program to avoid them going into destitution. And Shwangando Member of Parliament Stephen Campiongo says this will cause hunger in the country. But the minister argues that this will not be the case as over one million farmers will benefit. You may wish to note that the target for the 2022-2023 farming season is 1,024,434 farmers. The following is a criteria in place for one to qualify. Number one, Madam Speaker, you must be a member of a duly registered farm organization or cooperative. The cooperative or farm organization should have a registration certificate issued by the Department of Cooperatives under the Ministry of Small and Medium Scale Development or Registrar of Societies. Number two, you must be a registered small scale farmer and actively involved in farming within the camp coverage area with a field of less than five hectares. Madam Speaker, the third issue is that you should be cultivating not more than five hectares. The FISIP was launched by the Government of the Republic of Zambia in 2002 as a temporary measure to provide subsidized hybrid maize seed and fertilizer packages to smallholder farmers and promote the participation of private traders in supply. Victoria Kaye Yambani, Diamond News.